All right, guys, welcome back to the Tide Out Iguana. I'm Eric. I'm going to show you a couple things uh, today about moss. So the first one I want to show you, New Zealand's sphagnum moss. I'm a big fan of New Zealand's sphagnum. Not only can you use it for in your enclosures, keeping humidity up, things like that. Um, I actually use it on all my carnivorous plants, some of my bromeliads, things like that. But in here, what we primarily use this for, along with our terrarium moss, we kind of use them interchangeably for a couple things. Personally, this one I love to use in our leopard gecko hides. So with our leopard geckos, you can see here that that moss actually helps them create a microclimate. That microclimate allows them to absorb water and shed a little bit easier. It also gives them a nice area to lay their eggs if it is a gravid female in which case then you can take the eggs out, incubate them artificially, and take care of them properly. But it does hold the moisture the best. It also shows any debris, feces, things like that, helps you keep the cage clean, just because you can pick it out a little bit more. The terrarium moss, on the other hand, will serve the same purpose, does also hold a lot of moisture for you. But um, for me, it's just a little bit harder to pick out feces, but both work just as well in this scenario. So speaking of the terrarium moss, I like to use the terrarium moss just to kind of make the environment look a little bit more natural, like you would actually be in a wooded area. As you can see in our grass lizard enclosure here, that we use it, kind of tuck it into some cork bark, kind of hide it under some logs, put it under some plants, things like that. And it just makes the enclosure look a little bit more natural while, you know, still giving them areas to kind of forage through, raise that humidity and uh, yeah. All right guys, so the next moss I wanna talk about is our frog moss. The frog moss is probably my favorite moss. It just reminds you of like fairy gardens and weird things. It's just a bright green kind of mound pillow moss. Definitely works really well, especially for things like dart frogs. You can add it into your dart frog enclosure. Gives just a new element of kind of that green other than just sitting there on a dirt ground with a couple plants popping up. Just adds a completely other element now this moss here can come back to life under proper conditions it is the only one that is labeled as doing so but um, as long as you keep good light high humidity proper soil underneath it it will come back using things like the repti soil or jungle mix should give it a good enough base to actually be able to grow with a nice high led lighting and proper moisture you would be good i also have had good luck with the new zealand sphagnum coming back to life and i've even had some ferns pop out of my terrarium moss so all of them actually would be great in a dart frog or very high humidity environment for your animal one other moss that kind of transcends what we carry here is we do have java moss. Java moss can be used in high humidity terrariums as well as aquatic. The really cool part is if you have like say a automatic mister on your tank that is going to be spraying on branches, things like that, you can easily make the moss stay alive on um, any of the branches on the ground if it's moist as well as underwater. So if you have a half land, half water scenario or just a very humid tank in the way of dart frogs, it will also work really well there. One of the live mosses that we sell, other than the java moss, is actually gonna be what's called a spike moss or selaginella. They are another high humidity, non-vascular plant. And these guys actually do grow very, very well. And they are definitely a awesome species to work with at a lot of color. But there are quite a few different variations of these. They get really cool looking. They can have a lot of roots just kind of hanging down on them. And they come in a wide array of colors, as you can tell. And these also have some other types of moss growing in them too. Another live moss that we carry, we do actually carry moss that has been plugged already for you. So if you're impatient, don't want to wait for your moss to actually start growing inside your cage. If you buy any of the terrarium mosses and kind of mix it into your soil, we do sell moss in a plug. And that's what you're actually going to see right here. And these are great ways to start up your tank, just to get a moss coating on the bottom. And it is something just fun to watch kind of grow and take over the enclosure. 